Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I'm testing out a new part as I often do. However, this is a sort of peculiar part. First of all, I did not make the model for this and once you see it you'll understand why. It's a rather complicated thing and despite my Blender modeling skills it was actually worth it for me to get the model from Sketchfab, uh, which at a discount it was priced reasonably, I thought, given the amount of time it would take me to make the model, and to import it and do all the basic Kerbal Space Program Unity work to adapt it. Uh, looking at the license for the model, I believe I can do all this. I'll have to review the license uh, in greater detail to make sure if I redistribute the mod that that's okay, but I believe that that's possible, but I should definitely make doubly sure about that. But it's a fairly permissive license from Sketchfab as long as you're not redistributing the 3D model itself. Right, obviously not the original work. So anyway, the idea here is previously I'd used tugs with the space shuttle in order to construct, say, the International Space Station. I have my little Canada tug, and the purpose of these were to replace the use of Canadarm because Canadarm takes a long time to use, practically speaking. It takes me just about as much time to use as the astronauts in real life take, although that's not including their training and everything. Uh, but the, uh, this is a sort of a tug, but it's for more refined purposes. This tug would not be able to move the International Space Station modules at all, so it's not at that level. But for smaller purposes and for very specific missions this might be useful and we will see why but anyway we will uh, get to orbit that's where we need to test it out and see if it has the capabilities that I want it to and booster set off they go Okay, we have finished the external tank portion of the deal, and on to the OMS burn. Okay, we are in orbit, but I will want to be in daylight for our next bit. So, I'm aware that the title would have given away the game anyway, but what we have are little astronauts. About the right size, hopefully. And this is a model uh, by Mood Aiman, M-U-H-D, and then A-I-M-A-N. And again, I'll link this uh, the model source in the video description. Uh, it's not quite the way it's supposed to be because the visor is supposed to be shiny. But when I tried to do Textures Unlimited with it and apply the shininess I normally do with Textures Unlimited to that part, it didn't turn out right. The whole thing ended up black, so and that is not for a reason I understand right now so I'll have to work on that let's decouple oh okay our little last note okay so let's zoom out here zoom out uh, are we we are not controlling from this guy so now you can see I packed in there, there's no Kerbal inside here I packed in water oxygen nitrogen for the jet pack it, it, it's not really a jet pack that's just a supply pack but I put the RCS thrusters anyway nitrogen thrusters uh, because, why not? Um, because we need them, of course. Are we RCS enabled? Yes, we are. So, kill rotation. Okay. The very weak thrusters. Oh, I didn't really want that little decoupler to come with it. <laughs> um, we have a little docking port in the back. Okay. We are sort of floating away. I just wanted to kill rotation. Oh, I don't think we can redock anymore. I'll have to figure out that arrangement. So, you can see not a whole lot of nitrogen. I put in as much as this volume would allow. I think maybe we should be a little bit more careful about our RCS usage, given that they're very weak nitrogen thrusters and the ISP is uh, 75 seconds. So, the trick here and what we're going to test is that I've built in a claw into this. So arm, uh, the model came with an animation, a sort of floaty animation, which I use for indicating the armament of the claw for, for the time being. And we want to sort of claw ourselves onto that tub sat. 
It probably has about as much Delta V as the real MMU would have. Maybe less. I'll have to try and make sure that it has the same. So you'll note that it is consuming water and oxygen even though there's no Kerbal in, and that's because in the command module, instead of just consuming electric charge, I had it consume water and oxygen as well. So that's why it does. Let me control from here now. Why is it two control from here? So that's even worse. Uh, okay, yeah, this is gonna be tough to control. Um, hmm. I may have to turn on infinite fuel to actually test the claw part out. Using this astronaut tug could take some training, as it turns out. Yep. I'm going to have to turn on infinite propellant. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's see. Oh, uh, it seems to. Okay. Well, I'll take my mind off of that business at least. We are still armed, right? It's armed. I mean, the thing is, I don't know how the claw... module actually works. Is the problem. I've created a vector. Uh, an empty in unity that represents the sort of claw transform. Uh, I'm just not sure whether that's sufficient or not, or whether I have to do something more with the claw. Okay, trying this approach one more time. Hopefully, and now I've got a negative parallel. Maybe this will work. Hopefully, we'll see. All I want to do is claw that satellite. That's it. That's the goal here. At this point, since this can barely maneuver itself, I'm not too sure how great it's going to be maneuvering that satellite if we released it from the bay, but first things first. Does the claw on this little astronaut tug work? I mean, conceivably, I could just add a little claw part. I've added tweak skill to the claw before. <laughs> and so we could add a really, really tiny claw part and then have the astronaut tug claw the thing just using the regular claw part. But if we didn't have to use the regular claw part, that might be better. Uh, hold on. No, up, 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 no. No, don't get away from you. We docked. Well, we clawed. We clawed. It's clawed onto there. Not the best sort of claw ever, but I think we've clawed. Okay, I guess we'll release the satellite and see. I hate that it's in the dark though. Okay. Gosh, that took a while. That was a sinking feeling that it wouldn't work at all. Of course, we're on. We're still on infinite fuel right now, so that needs to be said. Okay, so we are gonna. Okay, we need to change to this. Uh, part of that is I just didn't know how to use the astronaut tug properly, so. That's, I, I don't know why the astronaut tug is buried in there. Maybe I need to fix the collider on the on the satellite. The astronaut tug has a proper collider, but maybe I didn't anticipate this use for the satellite. I need to review its collider a bit. Okay, um... You do free pivot and all that stuff, potentially. But, let's say, control from here. Okay, um... I'm going to temporarily activate the RCS on the satellite itself. Ooh. Dangerous stuff. And just get out of the bay, maybe. And I'll turn off the satellite's RCS. And what I want to see is if the astronaut can stop its rotation. Let's say point prograde. Okay, well we're pointing prograde but still rotating, but this is definitely a start. 
Then we gotta try and time warp to daylight. We're sort of spin stabilized prograde, right? Uh, it's wobbling, but I want to actually see what's going on here. So we'll precess a little bit. Okay. Well, continue your attempt to point prograde now. Somewhat sabotaged by me. Again, it's just the astronaut's thrusters that are working right now. Of course, the astronaut would be well out of propellant, if not for infinite propellant at this point. Okay, well, it sort of works. We're getting pointed back to prograde here. More than one astronaut tug may be necessary. I'm gonna have to figure out the docking port situation. Problem is my propellant only docking ports don't seem to separate things from things very well so I'm gonna have to check that situation out and why that happens. Still rolling. No, oh, we're getting quite far away from the shuttle. But I think I've got a sense of how well or badly this is working out right now. So I'll proceed with refining it and hopefully we'll have a better result. Uh, for now, this is an idea that I have. This is a thing that I'm trying out. We'll see. We'll see. We release the satellite now. Okay, off the satellite goes. Maybe that's what the astronaut was trying to do. Can the astronaut turn towards the shuttle and start going back? So yeah, I could sneakily put more nitrogen in. Right now, it's not that much. It's just the accumulated supplies fill this vo the volume of this pack here. And I might want to create another a more definitive jet pack sort of deal. This is technically only a life support pack. So maybe some canisters on the side with nitrogen or something and more explicit thrusters. But it's uh, tough for me to match the look of the thing necessarily. I would want to match the textures that they have here with this model. So I'll think about how to manage that. And maybe we can add some more propellant, which it seems like we need to do given the depletion rate but for now it is a promising prospect so as our little astronaut tug proceeds I'll say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time